Hi everyone, so this week's video I'm going to be showing you what I'm working on, kind of, because I'm also doing stuff, organizing, and being a freelancer and a YouTuber is a difficult task. So let's go through and I can share with you what I have been doing. So like any designer, I obviously have to start by opening my laptop because that's where all my work is done. And I started by working with a valentine that I made last week, so obviously this was from Sunday, but I actually gave it to my patrons. So this was for my Patreon and I just made it for fun, it was just like an extra thing for them. I've just been really liking this whole like kind of 90s, like early 2000s gradient vibe that's like really popular right now, so that's kind of what I went with and I just made a cute little valentine. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative, curious people like you guys, my viewers, and you can learn new skills and deepen the creative skills that you have. So I've worked with them before and you guys know they have classes in graphic design, they have classes in freelance, illustration, all the topics I love to talk about. So a class that I'm really interested in right now is Find Your Style, five exercises to unlock your creative identity. And that's taught by Andy J Pizza. I think it's great to learn more about finding your individual style as an artist and that's what I'm trying to do. So it's curated specifically for learning so they're always adding new premium classes, there's no ads, it's perfect. An annual subscription is also less than $10 a month. So still in the beginnings of 2021 it's the perfect time to find out more about your creativity and what you can do. And the first 1,000 people to sign up at the link in the description will get a free premium Skillshare membership trial. So try Skillshare today, it's so much fun. Thank you Skillshare. Hi, it's organization day. So I have been reorganizing a lot of stuff. A lot of my art supplies I thought were like, they needed to be organized so I thought I could organize them today. Everything was literally being kept under my bed so I was like, you know what, I need to redo this because everything has been like a temporary living situation but obviously it's been longer than temporary and it's not like I'm moving out in like a week. Like I do have a lot more time here in this like situation that I'm in so I figured I would reorganize everything plus I had to redistribute everything because my boyfriend's coming to live with us at my family's house and there's a lot happening and a lot of changes so and then I've just like redone this because this corner was literally just trash and like boxes of stuff for the last almost a year oh my god I can't believe it's been almost a year since I left New York but yeah so I've just been like redoing everything and making it a more organized space even though like you know, I'm not gonna be here forever, but me reorganizing is also me getting rid of a ton of stuff. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So let's, let's organize. So I have this basket and I have a few little things. So let's just put the little things in here and then we'll get to work on the big things. Ooh, so pretty. My favorite thing ever, my watercolors that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Beautiful, beautiful paper that I have that I need to use more. Watercolor paper, obviously keep. Another art history notebook, let's keep these. Another sketchbook that is exactly the same as the other one, let's see. Oh, here's something fun I've done. What the heck, why didn't I ever share these? Like, I made these for what? You know what's so funny is that at the time of making these, I thought, wow, these suck. Like, what's wrong with me? I'm so mean to myself. Black. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Let's keep this. School projects from my first typography class. This one is literally all from my type project where I made my own typeface. Okay, overall, that is the shelf. I feel like I have done a good job. I've made it feel like I have less stuff and this is my goal. So now that I organized everything, it was time to film. I had to film a video that was actually last week's video, so you saw it, hopefully. And yeah, it's just me wearing weird clothes and a nice top and <laughs> I had to clean up everything, set up, take down. It's a whole process to film. 
And then I got started on client work. So for clients, I'm working with someone right now who we're kind of doing her whole branding. So we're doing colors, we're doing fonts, we're doing logos. So I am working with her color palettes that we've been discussing and kind of going for a monochromatic feel. She really likes greens and browns and I love that. Obviously, you know me in emeralds and light greens if you know me. Um, but yeah, so I'm having so much fun and I had to make these pa palettes so she could decide and then send them to her. And then I got to work a little bit more on her logo. So this is like a custom lettering thing I'm doing. So obviously I can't show you the whole thing as always until it's done, but I am working on custom lettering for her. And I went back in just to check on it because when I step away from a project and then come back is when I realize like the little things that need to be changed. Like here you can see I'm working with like the curves and stuff, making them smoother. It's all that stuff that you don't really notice when you're actually making the objects and stuff in illustrator that you always come back to and then realize like oh i should fix this but yeah this is a little bit of a sneak peek of the custom lettering i'm making So this is where things get exciting. I got a package and it was actually my MacBook Pro. I've been saving up for this. I ordered it. I was so excited. It was basically the best day to be filming. Okay, I am literally so excited right now. So yeah, I'm literally so excited. I ended up opening it and getting to work immediately on it. And I'm even editing this video on it because I finally get to do designs and edits and my computer won't shut down on me. A lot of you also ask me what I do for my setup and this is literally my setup right now. I don't have a desk, guys. I'm in a temporary living situation, like I said, so this is my room at home and uh, I, it's a mess, I know. And then I got to work for my client again, which is the same client because now I'm choosing fonts for her. And I know some of you might think like, wow, that's such a boring job, like just picking fonts the whole time. You barely did anything in this video. But really that's like the life of a graphic designer. Sometimes you take hours and you have to choose fonts for hours. It's a fun, rewarding, tedious job. That's what graphic design is sometimes. So yeah, um, this is everything that I have been working on right now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching everyone! Please subscribe, please like, all the things. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Ah, this is weird filming on my phone. Okay, bye!